Hey security admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. If you're looking for a platform to help you collect, analyze, and share malware and other security related incidents, let me show you how to install MISP. The MISP installer will fail if you have even a single unsigned repository on your system. So if you know you use an unsigned repository, you'll want to temporarily move the apt source file. For instance, if you have an unsigned source file named source.list in your sources.list.d directory, move it with the command sudo mv slash etsy slash apt slash sources.list.d slash source.list tilde slash. To update and upgrade your Ubuntu server instance, issue the following commands. sudo apt get update. sudo apt get upgrade dash y. With that out of the way, it's time to install MISP. First, clone the MISP project from its GitHub page with the command git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash da667 slash automisp.git. Change into the newly created directory with the command cd automisp. Give the installer script the proper permissions with the command chmod plus x auto dash misp Dash Ubuntu dot sh. Now you can run the script with the command sudo dot slash auto dash misp dash Ubuntu dot sh. When the installation completes, point a web browser to https colon slash slash server IP slash users slash login, where server IP is the IP address of the hosting server. When presented with the login page, use the credentials admin at admin dot test for the username and admin for the password. Once you successfully log in, you'll be prompted to change the password. After you've changed the password, you're ready to start using MISP. You can start adding events, managing dashboards, and so much more. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.